another video today. Uh, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail and everything, I am heading to Anfield. I'm going to night three, so yeah, my plan is to get there early hours of the morning and queue overnight. This is my vlog experience of doing that. I've never done anything like this before. The longest I've ever queued out for something was for an iPhone overnight in Cardiff. I'm literally driving to Liverpool this evening, well, tonight. Aim, I got parking from 1 a.m., parking up the car, half an hour walk to the stadium, and then basically there then until, well, the show. This is gonna be like the experience for me, the once in a life experience. Like I wish I was sharing this with somebody else, but at the same time, like this is the kind of thing where going with somebody else kind of limits you. Like if you're doing this type of trip and you wanna queue overnight, and if I wanna just drive like, a little bit and just stop off somewhere then I can. I'm very flexible in what I want to do with the whole trip so yeah it's gonna be a good video. Okay then guys I am on the road now at uh, quarter past 10. It says I'm gonna arrive in Liverpool at 20 to 2 in the morning. Okay so I am an hour no two hours and 10 minutes away now. Um, I haven't stopped yet 105 miles to go. I'm realizing I think I've made a mistake in terms of the way I'm going is up through Wales and up through rural Wales and all that. It is pitch black, can't see anything. I'm in a little village right now called Fron. Never heard of the place in my life. Just gone past Landrid, not Wales. Heard of that place. It's like I was transported back to the 1980s with all these like really small independent businesses. No like brands or anything like that. Yeah, I'm finding it difficult because there's no way to stop. There's no services. There's no, there's nothing. So I'm hoping I may have to just persevere to get through Wales and then when I get closer to Liverpool, try and find the surfaces around there. Okay, so currently now um, I've gone in and put in on Google Maps and I've just said, show me the nearest restrooms. It says the closest one is Mile End Services on the way and that is going to be 51 minutes away. Yeah, so I'll, have, I'll be able to stop for a bit and then I'll have an hour's drive then to get into Liverpool. Okay, making good progress currently now just at uh, services. Uh, this is Road Chef in Chester. Yeah, I stopped off in the McDonald's on the way. So I got myself a drink uh, in McDonald's. Um, but yeah, I haven't been out of the car in that long. So I need to get out now. I need to go and get changed and get ready for the gig and stuff here. I'm, I think I'm about half an hour away from... Um, from the car park so i'm gonna stay here a little while because it is raining there's no rush to the stadium it's raining um check the weather um i can stay here for up to i think it's two hours and then i gotta start paying so i could stay here really until half past three if i wanted to um but I'm not gonna lie i am feeling a little bit tired and i'm quite surprised that i'm feeling so tired um, because I did sleep this afternoon, like I did have naps here and there and I did try and try and sleep, but I'm surprised at how tired I feel so quick. I thought by the time I get to like maybe like 5am I'd start to be really tired and then the day will just get me through it because obviously there'll be a lot going on. But I'm a lot more tired at this point than I thought I would be. So, so yeah, I'm going to head in the services now. Let's go for a little walk around, get some drinks because I didn't have any drinks other than these, which I've finished of course so go and get some more drinks and um, of course go and get changed as well which is what I need to do. So here we go road chef in Chester let's head in and uh, get a drink go to the toilet and get changed let's go good start Okay, so I feel slightly better now. I've got a fresh t-shirt on. This is my Taylor Swift t-shirt for the concert. Uh, I've got my cargoes on. Got rid of the everything else I was wearing. So yeah, I bought my iPad with me on the trip, um, as you guys saw when I was packing. So I'm gonna sit here for a bit, try and figure out traffic, distance, all of that. Do a bit more planning and yeah, just see how far away things are and where I actually am because yeah I have no, no clue so I'm gonna do that on here and uh yeah I'll let you know how I get off okay so just leaving the services now yeah so got changed obviously and yeah had a little look around back on the road now 33 minutes to the car park in Liverpool and then 
we are free to explore Liverpool a bit and head to Anfield. Just arrived now at the toll stop. Hopefully, there's no issues. Pay £2.10. I'm going to use, I'll tell you what, I'll just use my proper card. It's easier, I'm going to be able to reach. Let's go! Safe journey, £2.10. There we go. So, park the car up now. I am in the car park heading to the stadium now. So, got your 3 a.m. 12 hours until I'm going to show, I think. But here I am. 3 a.m. in Liverpool. Hello. Hello. How's it going? All right? Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, good, thanks. Thanks. So, I made it. I am at the stadium. Um, decided to get a Uber instead because, well, just felt a bit safer. I checked the price, it was seven quid. Say 40 minutes of walking for seven quid, so, uh, and I'm here now, so just gotta walk around the other end of the stadium and then um, that's where I've gotta go in. So, hopefully, there's people waiting. I am also a Man United fan, so being here at Liverpool. Stanley Park entrance and then my door is M one of those there is a security guard just like hanging around so I'm gonna go and find someone just gonna get a drink and yeah then I'll head back and then he may push me on but we'll see it's now just decided to start to rain but I've managed to find some trees and I'm just going to sit here for a bit. The stadium's just behind me over there. You can see all the lights. I am early. So I'm going to just just take a seat and just go on my phone for a bit. And maybe head up there about five. So currently it is half past three. Yeah, this seems like a good spot. It's quiet. It's residential. It's like a street here. I haven't seen a soul. It's not like a town centre. So I feel, I feel safe, you know? So across the way there, you can just about make out a petrol station. Just about there. I didn't, there's no shops up there. It's all very residential and stuff. I think if I walk to that, it looks like it's open. And maybe I can get a drink there and, um, and whatnot. So, so it's just gone Harper Street. Yet to find any other fans out and about. Hoping, like I said, probably gonna go up to the queue for five. Well, there we go, 24 hours. We've majorly lucked out there, so let's go and see what we can find. Well, that was a fail. It says 24 hours off license, but can't get in it, it's closed. Got my jacket on now, though. Try and keep my hoodie a bit dry so that it's not sopping wet, you know? found one of the light up things actually working obviously I need to try and get something to save the batteries but my one actually stopped working for Edinburgh and now we've just found a band <laughs> literally just found it that's nuts somebody just literally obviously lost this or took it off 5 a.m. now and I found myself a nice little bench to sit on um, my entrance you can see the red sign that says uh, M gates here so I'm in the right place, just waiting for more people to turn up. It's 5am, probably uh, three hours too early. Hasn't been too bad, to be honest, quite warm out. Luckily all these trees are helping me with the, um, with the rain. It's just like spitting rain, it's not proper rain, you know. This is the entrance to Stanley Park where the people have got to come, so they'll all walk here and then up into the ground. But as I say, let's wait for some more people to come and I'll film when we've got more people in the crowd. Well, here we are right by where we started. You'll never walk alone. There is the uh, Henny Dalton stand. And uh, M is where I'm going. I am, however, number, oh, looks like number four. It's actually number one in the queue. The queue is 
lengthy now. Yeah, it goes right back and it bears around a little bit now. So yeah, we've got toilets and stuff there that we can use. And yeah, the stewards are really good. We've ordered food, I've ordered the Greggs, and we're just hanging out, I guess, waiting. It's now 10, so I've got two hours until we can go inside and, uh, and stuff. So should be good. There it is. Hands up, folks, and do yourself. Keep your hands up. Hey, Andy, keep your hands in the air. This one's in the air. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God. It is trippy. Nice and slow, all right. Nice and slow.
to scream along if you know any of these words. And if you know not a damn one, don't you worry about it, baby. We're going to teach you everything you need to know tonight. <laughs>
delight it is to say these words to you tonight. Liverpool, welcome to the Eras Tour! Here I stand before you on our third and final night getting to play for you here in Liverpool to make you proud of those decisions to hang out with us on a Saturday night. But now you and I, we're going to go on a grand adventure. For tonight when you hear these songs, you're gonna think about us and the memories we made tonight at the Eras Tour. My name is Taylor. We can leave the Christmas lights until January. This is our place. We made the rules. There's a dazzling case, mysterious way about you, dear. Haven't known you 20 seconds.
together. absolutely far and away the most fun I've ever had on a tour in my entire life <laughs> and you know I think that's because I I've been writing songs since I was 12 and ever since then I've been figuring out ways to play shows whether it was like cafes or <laughs> street corners or you know like local fairs or, or things like that and gradually it got bigger over the years and I got to go on tour when I was like 15 or 16. And um, when I started doing my own shows, I, I would put out an album and then I would do a tour named after that album, right? So if, it, if I had an album called Fearless out, I'd just go on the Fearless tour, Speak Now, Speak Now tour, 1989, and so on and so on. And I had so many wonderful memories from those shows. Um, but this show is like taking all of my favorite memories from the past 20 years of my life and putting them all together in one show and getting to be here with you in front of the best crowds I've ever played for my entire life. Like, I'm not kidding, you guys are so generous. It's so crazy looking out into a crowd of people who...
vanished when I saw your face. All I could say is it was enchanting to me.
writing only with a quill and ink on parchment paper and living in this house. That was my pretend world. That was what I pretended. Uh, whereas the, the reality was more like me being a lonely millennial woman um, drinking more white wine uh, than ever and covered in cat hair and watching <laughs> Endless hours of movies and TV to pass the time, but in folklore world, it was just much, much cuter. And when I would go into this world in my mind, I would just make up stories. And, and that's what kind of put together folklore, is all these made up stories with made up characters. And I'd have the characters fall in love, and the characters would, would, would get their hearts broken. And that was honestly a blast, and I love writing that way. And. Um, Here's a story that I wrote about a girl named Betty. Betty, one time I was riding on the skateboard when I passed your house. It's like I couldn't breathe. The worst thing that I ever did. But if I just showed up. Folklore actually has a sister album that I'm also very proud of called Evermore. And uh, I call them sister albums because um, I just never stopped writing in between Folklore and Evermore, just went straight through, never paused. And, and so I, I kept it the same, writing fictional stories, escaping into this world. It's all good. I can do it with sniffly nose. I, uh, on Evermore and Folklore, really, it was interesting because I was writing these songs in the pandemic, and when I'd finish a song that I was really excited about, I would kind of just get a little bit sad because there were so many more important things to worry about in the world at that time. Um, but we really didn't know what the future was for concerts and for us getting to all be together like this and experience these feelings of um, just camaraderie and um, and I, I really just didn't know if I'd ever get to perform these songs live with you like this and so let me just tell you I'm so excited that right now I get to sing Champagne Problems with you here in Liverpool. Chevy Bowl, November flashed and you flashed. 
time to play for a crowd like this, the fact that you would do that for us. I love you so much, Liverpool. Thank you.
set is uh, one of my favorite traditions of the Eros tour because um, it always throws in like a fun little extra um, challenge for me because in now basically in all of my days that I'm not doing shows, I'm just constantly trying to figure out what songs to do for you and, and what songs might go together um, and then practicing them constantly. So this was really like where it all comes down to for me uh, in the show is just the most amount of like, don't mess this up, don't mess this up because it's also my favorite part of the show. Um, this one, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to call this the murder mashup.
Well, just like that, the Eros tour in Liverpool is over. I am now heading to my car. I have about 15 minutes left until I get to the car park. I've walked away from the stadium and all of that. So next plan now is to get to the hotel, of course, and get some food because I haven't had tea. I basically only had breakfast today and I nearly passed out, I thought. But I'll give you a full talk through when I get to the hotel. Um, maybe in the morning now because it'll be a bit late when I get back to the hotel. Um, so maybe I'll give him a talk through about the whole day in the hotel in the morning. So, yeah, but firstly, we gotta get some food and uh, get back to the hotel. I'll show you the room. Okay, in the room, and my voice is really thin. I, I have managed to sleep and I had eight hours since I arrived, and this is now the time. <clears throat> so, still really tired though, obviously, because of the long queuing and whatnot, but yeah, I'm just. I'm in that mood now where I've just got up and I just thought, I want to get home, you know. Um, so, packing up the stuff. The room is nothing really much to write home about. It's just a bed, TV, all of that. Uh, it's a little bit oldie worldy, but I'll show you the outside of the hotel and it'll make sense. They did give some biscuits though, so I'm going to be taking them for the car. Because that's a nice little gesture. I'm not a tea person, but I'll take the biscuits. I was originally going to do a Blu-ray hunting video today on the way back, but I can't be bothered. I'm so, I'm so sleepy. I just want to get home. And, um, yeah, just, yeah, I just want to get home, you know. Uh, I'm going to have breakfast though, because I have paid for that. So I'm going to have a quick plate of breakfast, I think it'll do me good to have some food. And then um, we'll come back up to the room, grab the stuff, and shoot out of here. So let's go get some breakfast. <laughs> There we go, smash the breakfast. Thank you, Oakland Hotel. There it is, nice little house thing. Gonna get on the road. Not gonna do the Blu ray stuff, just wanna get home. So, the next thing I'm gonna do now then is stop off in some sort of supermarket, just get some paracetamol because my head is thumping. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, when I get home, uh, maybe in a day or two, I will get back to you guys and I will tell you and talk more about my experience doing overnight at the Eras Tour. Okay then guys, I am home obviously now from the Eras Tour. This is the final clip of this video. I have literally just finished um, up until the point of this. I'm on an hour and a half mental. I filmed three hours worth of footage. So I cut her in half basically. There's so much there, especially before the show. I wanted to keep more of the show in there. I think in total, I think I've kept maybe an hour and 15, hour and 20 of the show. So if you are... If you did watch all of the video, that is amazing. Um, props to you for that. Um, yeah, my experience is just, I wanted to put as much into the video as I could because I watched my vlogs back quite a lot in terms of like my past experiences. So this is one that's gonna be at the top of that watch party list in terms of rewatching and all of that. And um, obviously amazing experience. Like I was so tired. It's currently Monday, the point of filming this. Coming back on Sunday morning, it was very tiring to be honest, of course. I looked hanging in that clip, literally waking up from the thingy. I drove 45 minutes to the nearest services. Um, I had that breakfast. I picked up um, an energy drink and some donuts. And then before, well, before I did all that, I actually got to the service car park and I slept in the car for an hour and a half because I just needed to sleep. I just knew I needed that hour nap but I think it was more my headache that was killing me you know it was really hurting me I woke up then and there was a car next to me there was two Taylor Swift fans in there with like Taylor Swift t-shirts on and stuff so they were doing the same thing as me obviously then I got like I said the donut and the energy drink and then just persevered and went all the way home ended up going to Nando's alley afternoon evening and uh, going to see Inside Out 2 as well so yeah that was really nice and um and stuff so it was a nice day yesterday it was a tiring day I slept for Wales last night literally I woke up about oh, half nine ten so um feels good does feel good but as I say this is the Eras Tour video for Liverpool and the next video is going to be my Eras Tour experience for Cardiff so stay tuned for that coming out on Thursday Thanks so much for your support on this. If you have missed my Edinburgh video, of course, and you are interested in seeing that that experience, go back to watch the previous video. There, that wasn't as long as this one, but this one, yeah, hour and a half. I knew this would be the biggest one. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.